So I know I said no more trailers for the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie. No more trailers, I said many times. I promised myself that I was not going to watch any more trailers. This is it, the last one. I don't want to watch any more trailers. I said, but I didn't say anything about WB giving me early footage. That's a different thing. So I will allow this. What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. Welcome back to another video. Today, I got something uh, pretty, uh, pretty crazy for you guys. I was able and privileged to watch Mortal Kombat 2021 movie. Now, let me stop you right there. I didn't watch the whole thing. They gave me and uh, a bunch of other um, news outlets and stuff like that, a snippet of the movie. So I watched the first 13 minutes of the Mortal Kombat movie. I recorded my reaction and everything. Downside, they said I can't upload it for reasons. I'm probably not going to be able to upload this reaction ever. Maybe when the movie comes out and then I can upload it. I'm not sure. But as of right now, I'm not allowed to upload my reaction. In other news, I was also able to interview the director of Mortal Kombat, Simon McCoy, and the producer, Todd Gardner. Downside. So I did an interview. I recorded it, but I can't show off their face and or voice. I can tell you guys what they said. They said that that's okay. I can type out what they said. I, I, I don't understand, but okay. So that will probably be a video in itself in the near future. Right now, I am going to do the loophole here because I can't show you guys my reaction, but I can break down what I saw in the 13 minutes. Spoiler warning right now. If you do not want to know what happens in the first 13 minutes of the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie, click off, come back later. I'm going to go frame by frame. Spoiler for the spoiler. I love it, all right? I'm just gonna tell you right now, the first 13 minutes of the movie is freaking amazing. It is awesome. If the whole movie is like the first 13 minutes, this is going to be an amazing movie. It's gonna be the first good video game movie. It's gonna be a good movie in general. So here's your little warning. Click off, click subscribe though, and ring the bell so you get notified next time we do a video. Um, but let's go and we're gonna break down or pretty much just walk you guys through what happens in this 13 minutes. Again, I can't show it, but I could tell you guys what happens. I think I'm allowed to do that, right? I have notes here, I have notes. So I'm gonna be reading through my notes and uh, seeing, seeing what happens here. Okay, so the 13 minutes starts off with, uh, you know, the WB logo. And the WB logo is like on fire for Scorpion. And then it goes over to New Line Cinema logo. And that logo is now on ice. Cause you know, Fire and Ice Scorpion, Sub-Zero. Um, so that's pretty cool. I always thought uh, that little transition was nice and uh, icy. Then uh, they show the Atomic Monster logo. You know, gotta show who made this movie and all that good stuff. But now it gets into the good stuff. We start off the movie with a shot of Hanzo's wife doing a little gardener work. And then here comes Hanzo and his son walking up with buckets of water. All right, because you gotta have water. You gotta probably gonna use it to garden. Um, also, I like to point out they're at Hanzo Sashi's compound. Uh, Hanzo's wife says, Hanzo, two buckets of water is not gonna be enough. Can you get some more? And then you hear in the background a crying baby. The, the son says, can I go check up on uh, the sister? And Hanzo says, go, go off to uh, take care of your sister. And then Hanzo is wiping off uh, his wife's hand because it has dirt on it. The kid goes in to the little house to check up on the baby. I'm going real fast right now because we got to. A lot happens. Uh, Hanzo whispers into uh, his wife's ear, says, I'm grateful and I'm blessed to have you. Very, very cute and very uh, wholesome things right now. Hanzo is a freaking beast in this movie, all right? He walks off to get uh, more buckets of water because the wife needs more than two buckets. So he leaves. And if you guys know Mortal Kombat, you, ca you guys already know what's gonna happen next. You ever get the feeling something really bad is about to- Hanzo's wife is continuing to garden again. She's using uh, a certain tool to do the garden work, a spear. Huh? Yeah. The wife hears that the baby's still crying, so the wife puts the spear down in the ground and checks up on the baby. Hanzo's now back at the, the creek or the little river, getting more water. And then when he gets the water, the camera zooms into his arm and it shows the dragon tattoo like Cole has on his chest right now. So the wife goes in 
to the house and says to the boy and the baby, why is it so cold in here? And then you hear on the outside, someone getting stabbed. And then the stab goes through the, the paper door. And all you see is a trail of blood. And then you hear the background says, fine, Hanzo. So what does the wife do? Opens up a little hatch in their house. And they take the baby in their little crib and hide it under the little uh, the little flooring. Because, you know, you got to protect the baby first. Bursting through the door. Who is it? It's Bihan. Says, no, no, no. But he's not Sub-Zero. He's just Bihan, right? He has a sword in his hand, stopping the wife and the kid from leaving the house. But he throws the sword down and says, I don't need it. I don't need it. So he wipes off the blood in his hand. He puts his hand behind his back, says, hmm, so this is where he lives, huh? This is where he lives, huh? He looks at the wife. The wife is already like, please. <laughs> no. And then Sub-Zero speaking in Japanese says, where's Hanzo? The wife is like. And then the little boy was like, going in front of the mom. Because the boy must protect the family. And then sub Zero's like, ah, he, he, he crouches down to get on his level. He says, you learn from your father? Again, sub Zero speaking in Japanese. The wife pulls back the kid, being really scared because it's freaking sub Zero. Oh, not yet, but Bihan. But the camera then zooms from his face, Bihan's face, to his hand. And you see his hand covered in ice. And the ice slowly like shatters. But the cool thing about it is his hand is covered in blood. Like, it looks like it hurts. It looks like when he does the ice move, it hurts. So what happens next, right? You know, you guys know when, like, you you uh, freeze, like, a water bottle or you freeze uh, something and you put it out and, like, s like, small little thin pieces of ice on the side of the cup, like, falls off. That's pretty much is what's happening to Sub-Zero's hand right now. And then you see blood. But then... Sub-Zero starts doing this, right? And then an ice sharp spear comes out of his hand. Not like a long one, just like a little, little sharp spear. He looks at the kid and the wife, and then it cuts to Hanzo with a bucket of water. And then you just hear yelling. And Hanzo heard that. He knows that yell. He runs. The bucket of water falls on the ground, which is, I said this in my reaction video. Hanzo, if you have not watched the first Mortal Kombat movie, you need buckets of water to feed to defeat Sub-Zero, so I don't know what you're doing without the buckets of water, but he's booking it, all right? He's booking, he knows trouble's happening. These are, there's also a lot of beautiful shots, all right? The first 13 minutes minutes is, is beautifully shot. The music is amazing. Hanzo arrives back, sees a bunch of his fellow friends uh, on the ground dead. He sees the door open at his house. Not a good sign, not a good sign. He's walking slowly towards the door. Hasn't entered yet. But in the front of his house, he sees his wife and, and son frozen, dead. And Hanzo says, I'm sorry, crying as, they, as he looked at his uh, lifeless family frozen. It's a very sad moment. I, I teared up, okay? Especially because I know this was going to happen. But seeing it in the movie, it's insane. He's getting, he's getting slowly surrounded by some ninjas. All right, buy some ninjas. And then they try to attack Hanzo, but we already know what happened. You guys seen this in the trailer. Hanzo goes ham and starts wrecking these ninjas. All right, if you guys wanted blood in the Mortal Kombat movie, I'm happy to say that blood, there's a lot of it. So Hanzo has a sword. He's slicing, dicing a bunch of fools. One guy tries to run inside Hanzo's house, but Hanzo does a throwing sword and gets him. And now, Hanzo sees more ninjas surrounding him. He already took out like four, but now there's like another five showing out of nowhere. Hanzo has no weapon. What weapon does he grab? He goes to where his wife was guarding, gardening, picks up the spear, picks up the little rope, quickly ties it, and now Hanzo has a spear in his hand. At that moment, the other ninjas should just run because it's about to go down. He starts going Ham burglar. He slices, he dices, he throws the thing around. He, you know, we seen it in the trailer. All right, we seen it in the trailer. The fight choreography is just flawless. Okay, the way that he makes the spear move and just takes out guys, it's amazing. It's amazing. So pretty much, Hanzo, Hanzo takes out all the rest of the ninjas in a matter of like five seconds. Like it, it was no 
no contest. Hanzo didn't even get touched once, all right? He doesn't even have blood on him. And if he does have blood on him, it's from the other people, not his. So he finished killing off the last ninja from doing a spear, pulls him, and then does a clothesline. And then he gets up, he yells out, Be Han! All right, and when I heard that, that gave me chills because I love hearing Hanzo yelling Scorpion's name, Scorpion yelling, um, or yeah, Sub-Zero yelling Scorpion's name, Scorpion yelling Sub-Zero's name. So he yells for Bihan because he knows, he knows he's the one that did this to his family. So Hanzo runs into the forest, finding Bihan, doing a little meditation, doing a little med meditation on some rocks. Hanzo approaches uh, Sub-Zero or Bihan. Sorry, this is not Sub-Zero yet. This is just Bihan. And uh, Bihan says, the great warrior in Chinese. He says, Hanzo Asashi. All right. This day has been long time coming to end your bloodline. This is all from Bihan. He means business. All right. Your mighty clan, the Shiarayu, have been exterminated by me. <laughs> Come on. Come on. This man's out for blood. Sub-Zero's out for blood. Again, he's saying this all in Chinese. You might be saying, Cage, why do you keep saying that? Because there's one epic line that comes up, and I need you guys to keep in mind that Sub-Zero, Bihan, is saying this in Chinese. Hanzo straight up says, I may not understand your words, and he's saying this in Japanese, all right? But I promise you this, I will kill you. So Hanzo and, and, and Bihan are speaking two different languages, all right? They're two different uh, types of Asians. Hanzo says, I don't care. I don't know what you're saying, but I'm going to kill you. Great slide in the movie. All right. And this is when they start to fight each other. Hanzo throws a spear at Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero dodges it. The, the spear hits the tree, and uh, Bihan's looking at him like, you missed. But Hanzo, come on, he never missed. So he pulls the spear back, and when the spear goes back, it slices Bihan's face a little bit, causing him to bleed. And Bihan's like... Nice shot, all right, nice shot. And this is where it goes down. They start fighting each other. I can't really describe this because it's honestly amazing fight choreography. They're going back and forth. It doesn't look cheesy at all. Somehow, uh, Hanzo tried to attack Bihan with a spear. Bihan does a little reversal. And now the spear is getting pushed up against Hanzo. Bihan is currently winning the fight. And then he manages to stab the spear in Bihan's stomach, causing a lot of blood to happen right now. Hanzo headbutts him, more fighting back and forth. It's honestly very evenly matched. Well, I would say that Sub-Zero is kind of winning by a little bit. Bihan then has Hanzo in kind of like a like a, like a a chokehold, like a, he's choking him. But while choking him, you see Sub-Zero's hand, I keep calling him Sub-Zero, but honestly, it is Bihan. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Bihan has uh, Hanzo choked, and while he's choking him, you see Bihan's hand starting to ice up again, slowly freezing Hanzo's face. It's it's honestly pretty brutal. But Hanzo does the low reversal. They still fight. Hanzo was able to slice Bihan's stomach. So now Bihan's bleeding from the face and the stomach. More fighting going on. Uh, again, I can't say anything bad about the fight choreography. It's just amazing. The music's also on point. <laughs> I love how in the fight though, Bihan does take Hanzo and uh, uh, do an interactable, like Mortal Kombat uh, 11. He takes Hanzo's head and slams it on a rock. It sounds like it hurts, man. It sounds like it friggin' hurts. And then, Bihan tries to go for a little, uh, little, little roundhouse kick to Hanzo, but Hanzo catches his leg, and while having his leg up, I don't know if this is a call out, uh, Easter egg, but Hanzo Freaking does a nut punch to Beyond. A Johnny Cage nut punch while holding Sub Zero's leg. It's. Uh, I laughed. I laughed about that one. That was good. More fighting going on. I wish. I wish you guys could see this. And I, I can guarantee you guys would not be disappointed about this fight. Um, Scorpion and Hanzo, are, they're, just, they're just too good of uh, fighters. And they execute their fight scenes to a T in this movie. So they're still fighting. Bihan then picks up Hanzo and tosses him like a rag doll to a tree. So Hanzo's back literally like hits a tree like that. The spear is still in, in, in one tree. Bihan grabs it out. Hanzo's on the ground. It's not looking good for our boy Hanzo. He's, he's, he's hurt. He's injured. Bihan slowly walking towards him with the spear in his hand. Looks over his body and then stabs him right, right here. Right here. 
Eon has Hanzo stabbed. It says, do not forget this face, says Hanzo. He's looking at Bihan while Bihan's about to kill him. He says, don't forget this face. And then Hanzo slowly fades away. But then Bihan stabs him even more. He stabs him even more. And then let goes of the body. All right. Then now Hanzo's on the ground, lifeless. And then Bihan just looks over it saying, for the Lin Kuei. If this movie doesn't get good praise, I don't know. This is or this is amazing. This is freaking amazing. And it's not over yet. It's not over. All right, there's so much more. When, we're, when watching this 13 minutes, it felt like honestly 30 minutes. And that's not a bad thing. It felt great. So Bihan walks away thinking that Hanzo's dead, which is oh, obviously, or, or honestly, it, it's a rookie mistake on Sub-Zero's part. If you're trying to fight someone, make sure they're dead. You know? Make sure they're actually dead. He just like stabs you or stabs Hanzo, but doesn't guarantee the kill. Like, what, what, what's going on here? So he walks away. Hanzo's still on the ground. Spear there. Looks like he's dead. But then he gets up. He, he slowly his eyes open because he hears. He hears something in the distance. What, what does he hear? A baby crying. You guys forgot about the baby? You guys forgot about the baby? So he hears the baby crying. So Hanzo is using every last energy he has. He pulls out the spear. He's crawl. He's spitting out blood. He's slowly, like a, like pretty much a zombie. He's, he's crawling back to his house to at least see if there's any living family member left. He's reaching because he knows he has to save. The, who else will save the baby? He's the last one alive. He still hears crawling closer and closer, hearing that baby crying out needing help man i'm sorry I'm, I'm gonna start tearing up again it's a it's a it's a beautiful very emotional uh moment in the movie but hanzo unfortunately couldn't make it couldn't make it hanzo then lays on the ground dead and his arm is reaching out to his house but he but he didn't have enough energy left he didn't have uh the power to go on anymore so right there you see him, the last thing you see him, he's, he's dead on the ground, his arms down, you see the dragon tattoo once again. <clears throat> That's not where the story ends for Hanzo because suddenly, out of nowhere, his body gets engulfed by flames. What? Flames? What? what happened? His body then teleports away. All you see left is the grass that was burnt by the fire that was engulfed in Hanzo's body. The, the next shot is a beautiful shot of rain coming down on like leaves, but the leaves have blood on it. And why is it raining? All suddenly a storm comes out and lightning strikes down. Freaking God of Thunder Raiden shows up, seeing on the ground that there was a fire here. But he doesn't know why. So just he just see burns marks, you know? And he picks up the spear of scorpions. And he looks up and you see Raiden's lightning eyes. And he hears the baby crying. So he enters the house, opens up the little underground uh, floorboard, and sees a very cute baby picks up the baby like the god of thunder he is he saves the day he walks out with the baby he teleports away but the way that he teleports away is pretty awesome he has a baby in one hand and he goes like this and like lightning strikes down and uh then when he teleports away you hear epic music playing you hear the drums and the freaking mortal Kombat logo comes out saying mortal Kombat," and that's how the first 13 minutes of the movie goes for mortal Kombat. 2021. I know my description probably wasn't the greatest. Hopefully you guys understand or understood what was going on in the first 13 minutes of the movie. If the rest of the movie is like this, if the rest of the movie is like the first 13 minutes of this movie, we got ourselves, we got ourselves a hit. Everything I was worried about covered. Everything, everything's great. I was worried that the, the fights might've been, uh, might, might be too cheesy. No cheese. No cheese. It looks like a straight up action movie. The it's it's so good. The music gave me chills. The dialogue between the characters. So, I guess the next thing is, who's this baby? It can't be Cole Young. You know why? Because the baby's a girl. The little boy says, Can I go attend to sister? So, my guess is that the baby is Cole's mother Cole Young's mother or like Cole Young's grandma or something all we know is this baby gives it has some type of connection to Cole Young that's that's my guess 
Unless they want to throw a curveball, and that's not Cole Young's um, mother or something. But I'm pretty sure Cole Young is connected to Hanzo in some way, shape, or form. So it goes Hanzo, he had a baby, he had two babies, or he had two child, two, two children. One boy that was somewhat like, you know, kind of old, but not too old, like a, still a little boy. And then we got baby girl, and the baby girl is somewhat related to uh, Cole. Either mother, grandma, great-grandmother, somehow. That's how Cole Young is connected to Hanzo. That's, that's the, that's my guess. I thought the boy, Hanzo's son, was Cole Young, but uh, from the first 13 minutes, he's not alive. So, yeah. But, there you guys have it. My little breakdown walkthrough of the first 13 minutes of the Mortal Kombat movie. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wish I could show you guys my reaction because it is pretty, it's pretty funny. Uh, and it was just amazing and I wish I could share that experience with you guys. But again, uh, I'm following the rules and WB says I cannot upload it, which I, I understand. But they didn't say I can't break down what I saw. Thumbs up for loopholes. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you guys did, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Stay tuned because I do have the video. Uh, I'm going to figure out how I can uh, show you guys my interview with the director and producer of the Mortal Kombat movie. Um, I just can't use their footage or audio, so I gotta, I gotta find another loophole, so stay tuned for that! Anyways, my name is Luke Cage Games, and you just got Cage! Trailer, yo, we got more cyber in this trailer than the original Justice League movie. The Flash still can't get over how Ezra Miller runs. Um, but overall, I mean, it looks pretty good. I, mean, I like that, uh...